Hey everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs and today I'm just going to put together a really quick little tutorial and show you how to put together these little envelope bags. They're super easy to do and I have a ton of them. So this is one of my new ones from the Winter Collection. I have some birthday, some Valentine's, Christmas, I'm working on some Easter ones, so lots and lots of these little bags. They are perfect for slipping in a gift card, a candy bar, a cookie, tickets, a little letter. You could even use them in your scrapbook pages. Um, the, the, there's unlimited uses for these and they're, they go together really, really simple. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, when you get your file, of course you'll unzip it and download. And then these are the pieces that you have. So first you're gonna have a little layered image. And it depends on which one you get. This is my little pen penguin from the Winter Collection. And I just glued him all together and put him together. And um, if you look this way, I did some pop dots to add his little feet and his nose just to give this little guy some dimension. But that's an option. Um, you don't have to do it, whatever you want. And then there is the um, belly bands that come with it. And I wasn't really sure which one I wanted, so I cut a couple different ones out. And we'll see as we go along. So there's one, two. And then you'll also have your two... Sorry, I started putting this together. You'll have your two... Um, embellishment panels and then of course the file the little pocket so to put this together and I zoomed in hopefully you can see this a little better by zooming in but um, you're gonna take your your little file and you're gonna score on these score lines and this tab and the bottom tab you're gonna score in and then you'll fold it and score on this one. And honestly, on this file, it doesn't matter if you score so that it folds to the right or so that it folds to the left, but whichever way you do it, you'll want these tabs to go inside. Okay, so then the next thing you're gonna do is take your little embellishment panels and we're gonna take the one that goes on the inside and just put some tape on it or glue, whatever. I'm doing tape today just because it's quick and easy and then you're going to line it up right on there and it's it's designed so that it has a little bit of the shadow and then we're going to take some tape and add it right here and right here or glue again whichever one you want run some tape down there i'm going to fold that up so it's kind of on the corner and then run some tape across there Okay, and then just fold it over, match up your corner first, and then there you go. Now you're going to take your outside panel, and if you cut this from double-sided paper, you could use the same, or you could do different ones. I kind of like that one as well, um, but for this video, I'm going to use this paper. I'm just going to glue it. Tape it up. And you want to make sure that you get a good amount of tape or glue on these little corner pieces so that they don't pop up when you put your little gift or whatever it is you're going to use these for. Little treat, whatever. Um, I know at Christmas people were using these a lot and putting like cookies in a gift card or candy bar in a gift card or a letter. And you're just going to line it up. And stick it down there um, and they really are they whoops that one didn't stick I must not have got some glue on that edge but they make really thick I mean you can put some thick things in there the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your belly band let's see which one I want to use I really like that purple with all that I like that one too but I think I'm gonna go with this purple one if you're placing something pretty thick in here, I would say put that in there first and then do your belly band. I did not put any score marks on this belly band so that you can make it fit whatever you're using this for. So if it's just a gift card or something really thin, you won't want it folded quite as thick. Does that make sense? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and kind of eyeball it and put it in the middle. Fold it over. And then fold it again around there. 
And then this circle part actually goes on top. So I'm going to just take my tape and put some tape right in there. And again, you could use glue. In fact, I would almost suggest glue if you're doing something so this is going to be pretty thick. Okay, and then the last thing you're going to do is take your little your little decorative piece, whatever it may be. Um, and I found that it was easier to put the tape on the belly band than on this. I'm just going to put a couple of more pieces of tape. Kind of layer this where I want it. You could put it so his head's poking out or down lower. I think I'm just going to do right there. Get a firm little press. And that is all there is to these little... Um, these little baskets or bags excuse me they are so fun they go together really quick I'm showing you some of my new ones from the winter collection like I said I've got some um, Valentine's and working on some Easter ones and those will be being released here soon little snowman love my little snowman these mags I did I've done some thing, different things with mags and they're so popular and then my last one is the little snowman. So I hope you enjoy these. Go ahead, you can find these files on my Etsy shop, Paper Closet Designs, or with my Scrap Chick. Thanks for joining me today.